Manage Online's Workflow Scheduler allows you to schedule existing repair orders against available man hours in your shop. Set up the number of bays in your shop and hours of each day and you'll be able to see all your existing repair order work for each day in one location. Now keep in mind, the Workflow Scheduler is designed to allow you to schedule your technician's actual repair order work and is not yet a full appointment calendar. So let's set up our scheduler. We'll go to Setup, User Options, and Schedule. In Schedule Settings, enter the available number of work hours for each day, which is the number of technicians in your shop times their available work hours per day. So for example, if a shop has three technicians who each have 12 bookable hours available each day, except on a Saturday when they each have three hours, then your schedule would look like this. You can also color code work in the scheduler by either the repair order status or the work type. Now note, if you're going to use color code repair order by status, you must first define the category, code, description, and color in codes and status. And if you're going to use the color code repair order by work type, you must first define the code, description, and color in codes and then work types. So let's enable our time slots. Enter the start time and end time for the shop's workday. This will create a grid on the schedule of each hour in 15 minute increments. Now this does not affect nor is affected by available hours which we entered earlier. You can set your workflow scheduler to hide any repair orders that you've marked as complete. Simply disable the time slots function and you can enable this hide an RO feature. Under Repair Order Information, you can select the information you wish to display on each of three lines of the Repair Order Schedule entry. So for example, we'll click on the drop-down list and we'll select Make for Line 1. We'll choose Repair Order Status in Line 2 and we'll choose Customer Name for Line 3. Click Add. Make now appears as the first item on line 1. On the scheduler, the information will appear like this. Schedule Bay Display. You can show up to six bays on the scheduler. Each bay can be renamed as you need. You can also reorder how bays 2 through 6 appear on the scheduler from left to right by moving them up or down in the list. Note that the first bay in the list is set and cannot be moved. Okay, that was pretty simple. So let's create a repair order and put it into our workflow scheduler. You can add an existing RO from the work area or create an RO from within the scheduler. So to schedule from an existing RO, you must convert an estimate or quote to an RO before you add it to the schedule. So click on Create RO. Assign a technician to the repair order from the drop down list on the right of the work area. Click on Assign Repair Order, and you're now assigning the repair order to the schedule. The workflow scheduler will open, and you'll see on the repair order in the left column under Repair Orders Awaiting Assignment. To put the repair order on the calendar, Click and drag the repair order from the awaiting assignment list to the preferred time slot on the calendar. And ta-da, you're done. So to add a new repair order from the schedule or calendar, go to the left column and click on New Repair Order. If you type in the customer's last name and click Search, then a list of all customers with that last name is displayed. And if you know the customer's account number, the customer and vehicle will be added. If the customer has more than one vehicle, a list will appear. And you must enter the work description and planned hours. Technician and work type or repair order status are optional. Now note, you must edit the repair order in the work view to add parts and labor. The repair order will now appear in the left column under repair orders awaiting assignment. So again, drag and drop the repair order to the desired bay or time slot. To view and add labor and part line items to the repair order, we'll double click on the top line of the repair order calendar entry. When the repair order detail page opens, click on the green check, which is go to job, to move to the work area. 
Complete repair order details from here, adding mileage, symptoms, service rider parts labor as needed. And click on Update Repair Order to save changes. Now a couple of things to remember. You can update status and work type and the changes will reflect on the schedule or calendar. If you create a repair order from the scheduler, you must edit it in the work area to add parts and labor, etc. If you add a new customer from the scheduler, you should edit the customer information later to include the contact by preferences and additional contact names, etc. And if you add a new vehicle from the scheduler, you should edit the vehicle information later to include any optional information and to enter a valid VIN number. The catalogs work best when there's an accurate VIN number for the vehicle. Well, using the workflow scheduler to keep track of your existing repair orders is really that easy. So give it a try.